Today we're going to be discussing the tip pruning versus pruning. A way you know you need to tip prune your tree. You don't want to prune it, but tip prune is when this is being bent. Your branches is being bent by your fruit. When you are ready to harvest your fruit, this is citrus, guys. So citrus trees, they're, they're ready to be harvested within the winter months. November, December, February, March. Mario Lemon here, and the weight of the fruit is allowing this tree to be bent with the foliage. Okay, as you can see, the branch is green. If I wanted to tip prune my tree, like this tree is bent down a little bit as well, I will tip prune it to here, not prune it, but tip prune it to here, and allow the photosynthesis and everything to work this energy with the new blossoms that you can see in this area, which will give me fruit okay but what tip pruning allows and pruning allows it allows foliage new foliage to occur all right and also the blossoms to do its thing as you can see here this is the time where your citrus blossom some of your citrus blossom not every tree citrus blossoms this early my lemons does they, they are blossoms about three times out of the year i believe but however when you do prune your tree when you prune, you allow the root stock, the root, the trunk to get bigger. Okay. When we prune your tree, you don't, you don't. When we're ready to prune, you want to make sure you don't have any branches crossing each other like this. So from here and on up, and this side uh, here, we want to take this out so that the sun can get in between. When you prune, you want to make sure that you have some space for the energy in the trunk, but mostly you don't want to get sunburned. You don't want to prune a tree that's, you know, uh, uh, one to three years old. This is a five-year-old tree, so I'm kind of container, and is in a now a larger container than, than ever, but it's in a 20-gallon container now. However, you want to wait because what you want to do is you want that full, you want that trunk to give off energy compared let's let's i'm gonna show you right now what i'm talking about stay tuned guys. guys we're back and what i'm talking about is this you see how this trunk is this is a three-year-old a mandarin a rory sensuma a mandarin you got one fruit here you don't necessarily want your fruit but we want to taste this one so we just doing one but this is a three-year-old trunk that was in a five gun container. See how skinty this is? See how skinty this is compared to our Mario Lemon? Let's take another look at another tree. Be right how back. skinty this is, and I ain't say skinny, I said skinty. And this is only like a one year old tree. This is not even two. This is actually probably two years old. But see how skinny this is compared to our other Mario Lemon? You don't want to prune. You want to take the buds off. When it starts to blossom, you'll give its root system strength to get larger right and also you'll give it allow the trunk as you can see right here to become thicker like our my lemon so you will remove stay like tuned. i was saying you'll remove the blossoms don't worry about getting fruit with a one-year-old or a three-year-old tree Remove those blossoms. Be patient, guys, because as you do so, I'm telling you, you're going to get fr so much fruit, but also your tree will become your fruit tree, your citrus tree. It doesn't matter. It will become so strong. It will become so strong that it will be able to handle the winter months, the, the summer months and the spring because it has strength in our root system if it's growing in the ground or even in container it'll be able to do its thing throughout the year as it matures as it you know grows and develops and it becomes sweeter as you maintain it as you fertilize liquid do a liquid fertilization throughout the throughout the the season you don't want to do a granular feed you want to do a liquid feed when it's dorm when it's going to its dormant se season with citrus or either even your fruit trees uh, citrus trees are basically 
uh, semi dormant. They're not dormant. You want to not. You want to go ahead and tip prune your citrus, but not prune. You want to go ahead and prune your fruit trees in this dormant season. All right. So with that being said, you can still give your citrus trees a liquid fertilization or a fish emulsion fish fertilizer and still get allow it to have this lavish dark green foliage when you use espen salt or um chelated iron so with that being said guys i got to go i pray and i hope that you have a blessed week remember you're destined for greatness so like subscribe hit that notification bell guys share with your friends that's not even on youtube and let them know that they can too grow a citrus tree in a container with that being said shalom i will see you again next time